Hi, I'm Arnie Gunderson from Fairwinds. Dominating the news this week has been story after story of sailors being overexposed to radiation and cover-ups by the United States government. These sailors have experienced all of the classic symptoms of radiation sickness, vomiting blood, losing hair, developing tumors. The Tampa Bay Times just did a great story about the exposure to sailors from radiation in the line of duty. In the news has been the horrific exposures of ex sailors on the USS Reagan as it sailed near Japan and crossed into the plume of radioactive gases that were spewing from Fukushima Daiichi. Those sailors experienced hair loss, diarrhea, and all the symptoms I've discussed. But the story in the Tampa Bay Times is not about the Reagan. The story in the Tampa Bay Times happened 50 years ago. And it happened on a ship that was dumping radioactive waste into the Atlantic Ocean off the New Jersey shore. Those sailors have exactly the same symptoms as the Reagan sailors. The government claims they can't find the records. The government claims the radiation exposures are way too low to cause the symptoms they're now experiencing. But in fact, the ship those sailors served on was so radioactive it had to be sunk in the Atlantic Ocean along with the drums that it had dumped there for 20 years. The experience of these brave men for the last 50 years is exactly like the experience the sailors on the Reagan are now receiving from the United States government and from the Navy. Their symptoms are being denied. Their radiation exposures are being minimized. This pattern of government obfuscation has been going on now for 50 years. We see it in the Tampa Bay Times story, and we see it with the Reagan sailors as well. These are brave men and women who stood up and served their country honorably. And it's about time that the government did the honorable thing and treated these veterans and compensated these veterans for the exposures they received in service to their country. I urge you to read the Tampa Bay Times to learn more about this massive government cover-up and to help our veterans by joining the Fairwinds community. Raise your voice with ours as we tell the truth about radiation safety and risk. I'm Arnie Gunderson. I'll keep you informed.